Hey guys, this is Carl from TechLingo. We've got something really special and exciting to share with you guys today from HP, which may look just like an ordinary leather notebook, but I assure you, it is way more than that. So stay tuned. Now this device here is the HP Spectre Folio. Now you may think that this is just a leather case that you can slap onto any other laptops, but I assure you that the leather here is actually wrapped uh, around uh, the HP Spectre Folio, and it is part of the laptop. Now each one of these devices are hand-stitched, so if you look up closely, um, the level of workmanship that you see here is definitely superb. And you know how when you get into brand new cars, you have this leather smell. If you bring this device particularly close to yourself, you can find that it has a great leather smell as well. Now when we first saw this device, um, we're actually really happy to see this particular design direction that HP is heading. You know, they're no longer trying to make laptops or devices that have the most uh, amount of RAM or even the best processors and smack them right into a laptop, but rather you're looking at how uh, a piece of technology can be blended into our everyday lifestyles. You know, can an item be part of your daily life so that uh, it's not just an external piece of tech that you bring around with you, but this is actually just uh, now part of your lifestyle. So we're definitely uh, happy to see uh, this particular design change and um, we have been using the HP Spectre Folio for about two weeks now so we would like to share with you some of our thoughts and experiences uh, after using this laptop. Now if you're still not impressed, have we mentioned that the Folio is actually a convertible? So you, with the help of some strong magnets, you can actually transform this into a media stand mode which is uh, great for watching movies comfortably, uh, whether is it on your desk or on a couch or on your bed. And you can even transform it one more time into a full tablet experience. This particular screen is also a touch screen. So you can actually use your fingers uh, to navigate around uh, each of your programs, or you can even make use of the included digital stylus and take notes at a business meeting or even in class. So in terms of writing notes, the pen definitely feels uh, really natural. Um, it's pretty close to what you see on the uh, Surface Pro, the Surface line of devices. Um, the stylus definitely on the HP Spectre Folio is uh, rather responsive. You're able to uh, write notes comfortably. And we also like that the tip of the stylus here is actually rather smooth. So when you're actually writing on the screen, uh, it definitely feels uh, rather natural. Now, one thing we notice about using the HP Spectre Folio in the tablet mode is that if your screen actually goes off, um, there isn't any other external buttons that you can use to wake the device. So you always have to, you know, just lift the screen up a little bit slightly uh, just so that you can reach the power button to turn on. So of course, this is just nitpicking at this particular device, but uh, definitely it would be nice to see if they could have actually included uh, perhaps a touch uh, to wake, you know, or maybe an external button that is uh, a little bit more easier uh, to be accessed by the user. Now, next thing we'd like to mention is battery life. And wow, we are really amazed. Uh, on a single charge, we're easily able to obtain about two to three days of uh, light usage. We were actually taking notes in class, uh, some casual web browsing as well. And uh, it's safe to say that the HP Spectre Folio was able to last us that long. And HP says that you can get up to 21 hours of battery life on this device. And um, it's definitely cool to see a particular laptop we have never seen um, actually used uh, a piece of device that could last us that long. Now let's have a closer look at the stylus here. This is actually a rechargeable pen. And so all you have to do is actually to twist the top and pull upwards to review the USB Type-C charging port. Uh, you can get this pen charged in about an hour's time. And uh, we've actually used it for about a week before it ran out of battery. So um, definitely, uh, it is easy to charge. Uh, it's the same exact charger that is used to charge the HP Spectre Folio or any regular USB Type-C uh, charger to actually charge this particular pen. You would also have the option of sticking on the optional stylus holder. Uh, however, we do feel that it might get a little bit flimsy, especially for a premium product like this. So uh, if not, you can always just keep it uh, in your front pocket or in your bag. Now, there are a total of three USB-C ports on this particular device. You have one on the left side and two on the right side. And all these three ports can actually be used for charging. Uh, and we also saw something uh, really neat here is that uh, on both sides, if you were to attach the adapter, there would be a red LED indicator 
to show that it is charging on either sides. And I thought that was uh, something nice that HP has implemented so that uh, regardless of which side you plug in the charger, you're always able to see whether or not your laptop is charging. And also you have the included headphone jack on the left side. Now in conclusion, the HP Spectre Folio is a really special uh, convertible laptop. Uh, you know, it smells great, it feels premium. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, people like businessmen out there would be happy to actually carry this along with them. It's comfortable and it really looks high class. Uh, it's great build quality uh, and everything else. Uh, we only have positive things to say about the HP Spectre Folio. You can now get this in Singapore at about 2799 and uh, we hope you've enjoyed our full review of the HP Spectre Folio. Don't forget to like this video if you do and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech reviews and recommendations right here in Singapore. This is Kyle, signing off.